Disjunction Elimination In this video, you will learn about the Disjunction Elimination Rule. Disjunction Elimination is one of the more complex rules of natural deduction, but conceptually, it's quite easy. Disjunction Elimination works like a catch-22 situation. You have two options, both of which lead to the same result. For example, suppose you are trying to decide between coffee or tea for dinner, but what you don't know is that both are highly caffeinated, so no matter which one you choose, you won't be able to sleep that night. If we write premises matching the situation, we can see how disjunction elimination is supposed to work. Premise 1, C or T, where C means you have coffee and T means you have tea. So, you have either coffee or tea. Premise 2, C arrow not S, this means that if you have coffee, then you won't sleep. Premise 3. T arrow not S. If you have T, then you won't sleep. And we'll put our conclusion down here. Not S. You will not sleep. Now, in disjunction elimination, we show that both sides of his junction lead to the same target. And so we are permitted, as a result, to infer that target. Begin by entering disjunction elimination in the justifications column and by selecting make assumption. The make assumption window comes up and we see that the result, not s, has already been entered for us. For disjunction elimination, we need an origin formula, which is the formula on which the whole disjunction elimination is based. It must be a disjunction. In this case, it will be C or T. So let's set that as our origin. Once we set the origin, most of the hard work of setting up a disjunction elimination inference is finished. The first assumption is always the left disjunct of the origin. So let's set the first assumption to C. The second assumption is always the right disjunct of the origin. So let's set the second assumption to t. The two targets are always identical to the result. The result is not s, so let's set the two targets to not s. Here is the structure of its junction elimination proof. From the origin, c or t, we assume the left disjunct, C, and show that it leads to not S. And then we assume the right disjunct, T, and show that it leads to not S, allowing us to infer the result, not S. Hit make assumption, and you'll see it appear in the deduction. We can see why this is like a catch-22. On the assumption that we have coffee, we're not going to sleep, and on the assumption that we have tea, we're not going to sleep, therefore we know we're not going to sleep. So let's finish up. From C at line 4, and C arrow not S at line 2, we can easily get not S. And from T at line 6, and T arrow not S at line 3, we can easily get not S at line 7. Now we just have to add the lines cited by disjunction elimination. There are five lines that are cited, and they are always the same. The origin, the assumption of the left disjunct, the target, the assumption of the right disjunct, and the target. So here we have the origin, line 1, the assumption of the left disjunct, line 4, the target from the left disjunct, line 5, the assumption of the right disjunct, line 6, and the target from the right disjunct, line 7. That is, origin, left assumption, target, right assumption, target. And now our proof is complete.